Moin, Sinto. Nice to see you. Here we go again with Amazon ranked. And later, after these 10 games, we're going to play some Chaos. I think yesterday was really a good day. Biggest God's earning I ever had. And I think we cannot top that today. But we can try. Yeah. This... We could uh, we could just beat it by by putting even more diamonds in there or winning one game more. But I had a few bad days, so it makes up for them. Boah, ich habe keine Ahnung. Bekommst du nicht von, von Twitch eine Benachrichtigung? Oder vielleicht, ähm, vielleicht, was gibt es denn noch für Varianten? Bei Geodex müsste es ja auch angezeigt werden, aber gut, dann bekommt man ja auch keine Benachrichtigung. Schwierig. Keine Ahnung. Ah, okay. Ah, ich habe das Gefühl, wir haben hier einen ziemlich harten Gegner erwischt. Na, ah, mal schauen. Maybe we can be fast enough. Hi. Okay, let's try to rush him down. As fast as possible. Really my job to prune back the garden? Golden curse, okay. So, two creatures are going to survive the golden curse. Let's get the battle orcos and the knightly warrior. So he draws one additional card now. Sleep dart, ouch. And unexpected gift. And spellbound, oh god. So I think we need to keep Moto's daughter. The danger is too high that we buff that one. We could play Warrior of Paradise, we could play Blade of Fight. It's pretty likely that the Warrior of Paradise is also buffing another guy, so let's use the blade. And hit the face for two. So sad that all these creatures are dying now. His last turn was really, really strong. I think it's now pretty unlikely that we can win. Yeah, Miltus Daughter is a good target for that. Oh, and Stone Skin Poison. So again, we can deliver just two damage. 
next turn he's not at Rapture Dance yet, so we can still play a lot of creatures. But... Hmm. Uh-oh, Umber Arrow. Damn it. So, we could use the blade for more draw. He used flip. So, it's pretty likely he got rapture dance. So, I guess we are just going to hit his face and use god power for some more draw. Oh! Now then we are going to use Penticillian Warrior 2, because then he's going to survive the Rapture Dance with more power. Yeah, I think it's okay. Now it's getting close. We are prepared for Rapture Dance. Oh, that's a Golden Curse, though. And Sleep Dart. Shit. My turn. Ah, nice. Top Deck River Jumper Captain is great. So they are both going to die for sure. Let's play the Swordbreaker Sage so that the River Jumper Captain comes up stronger. Hmm, Stone Skin Poison is bad even for River Jumper Captain. And the Toast to Peace. Ah, oh, hell. And now he's end up at 7 mana next turn already. Oh damn it, the river jumper captain is useless now. We could try to keep the River Jumper Captain with the Rune of Life. But I'm not sure if that makes any sense. The Go White makes no sense too, we have to be aware of Rapture Dance. Let's try to keep him for a while. Hmm. <laughs> okay, so he's back to 10 life. A divine Corona, okay. That's not too bad, I guess. Brush four and through it of the cycle. I think it doesn't really matter what we banish. Get him. I'm right behind you. 
we could draw soon. Um, Lotus Daughter or Divya. Oh, damn it. Cannot even kill the Pyramid Warden. We all have our limitations. Ah, now I guess we are going to white. And we'll see the Rapture Dance. Now, that's right. And spellbound. Damn. After the call. Yeah, good hit. Ooh, and this one is also nice. But still, steric cultists will. Will fuck me up. I have no clue. Going too wide is a problem for Rapture Dance, and not going wide will have his cultists run over me. Yes, the only chance we have is now filling up the board and generating some favor. Hoping he cannot clear the board and we top deck Divya or Myrtle's daughter. Otherwise we are going to die for sure. Uh oh. Yeah. We are dead I guess. And overkill. Let's take a quick look what we draw. But I guess we are dead. Yeah. There was not much we could do here. But it was a nice game though, and he had a pretty, pretty shiny deck. <clears throat> Emotional damage. Hmm, and we are going first. Yeah! God hand, welcome back. He is a beast indeed. That was a pretty cool game. Alright, two one drops. It's okay. The calm before 
Yeah, we have a nice end to start with against Agro War. Master Tactician, okay. Nice. That canopy sniper is awesome. I'm just wondering. Hopefully he has no woodcutter imp. Maybe I should have played it differently a little bit. Playing Penticelli and Warrior. Yeah, now he can finish him so easy with his blade of sticks. Okay. No, but we can make our nightly hunt of 2 4 4. That's not so easy to take down. So he's going to finish my two small creatures? Okay. Yeah, then we have to trade her off. We all have our limitations. We could go for luck and play Selena's Mark and Underbrush Boar. So when Selena's Mark hits them, Underbrush Boar her and we hit the face, it would be nice, but I guess the risk is too high, so we better go for her and use Selena's mark and play the boar after that. Hmm. Vicious rent, not bad. And another blade of sticks. This is a nightmare. If he plays a creature we cannot handle with our blade, we have a problem. If he plays a creature that we can handle with the blade, he has a problem. And yeah, I think Wind Up Roller is good for us. Ah, oh, pretty fast. But we can take on that one. And if he's not having anything else to kill my blade we are going to draw another card and then we are just ending up with too much stuff ah but he can, he can. so it's getting close Let's take a look where the Primal Guidance is sitting. Volker. So, the then we are going to get the Form of Power to get rid of the Wind Up Roller. And then we just play the Underbrush Boar and the two Pentas, two Sanctum Guardians. Alright. Mmm, cunning challengers quite strong, but I think we can we can take it. Ah, that he's hidden is a problem though. Turn. 
he's not playing Soul Survivor, so it's no problem to go that wide. Should be GG, I guess. Now he needs to kill the river jumper captain. Oh, he's going to die. Yeah, he saw it. That wasn't easy, but it was a lot of fun. I like somehow these aggro war against Amazon matchups, when especially when they are that close. Uh, in the end, it wasn't even that close, but it was always a back and forth. I'm I'm still so happy about yesterday with nine wins. Eighteen point four gods, it's really the the most we ever had. Thomas is playing death. Anubian aggro Geodex has. I think there we are going to have a chance. We need a druid of the cycle, we could need a relic removal. Lightning strike is not going to help. Boxwon protector is nice though. Mm, canopy sniper is a problem for blight bomb. And curse of greed. I'm not quite sure. The calm before the storm. Maybe I should have kept the Penticillian warrior. Four and five, this is really a pity. Raving Necromancer. Hmm. I really like to play the Underbrush Boar, but we cannot let him bump into the, the Raving Necromancer because of his blood ritual. Ah, but he could also have a blight bomb just to take care of the underbrush boy that easily. Hmm. But I think it's better to 
to lose the underbrush board to the blight bomb than the canopy sniper. But I'm not quite sure. Ah, then he uses blood return on this guy. Okay. Ha. Huh. Hmm. Warrior of Paradise is also a target for Blight Bomb. He played a fight plane too. Hmm. I think we really have a bad hand against Anubian Agro. Even if he got nothing, he can just use his god power to get rid of the protector and we can still do not much to build up our game. Leaf Hunter or Warrior of Paradise, I guess. I'm not sure. We are way too slow. We are way too slow. <laughs> but it seems like he also got problems with his curve and his stuff. Damn it, now I can just kill the boar easily. Untold greed, okay. Hmm. I don't like it. He's also playing Ragnarok twice. So it could be a problem to play now too many creatures suddenly. Ah, I don't know. Let's try to get the root of the cycle. Yeah! Druid of the cycle. Question is, do we want Divya? Then I guess yes. This is not the way. Heal. Hmm. When we can get rid of his priestess, we can might win even later on. We have to be careful. the warrior of paradise and trade this guy off. Maybe I should have played her first. It would be one damage more. Damn it.
you have to be careful not to push him too fast under 15 because he is using the Pharaoh Champion of Death. It would be good. Yeah, listener Vico, welcome back. Yeah, we, we missed one damage. I just saw that too. Guten Morgen. Guten Morgen. Ah, and the curse of greed of our, our buffed creatures is always a pain in the ass. Let's go with the blade. And we are not going to play the conscript yet. Because he just has still two Ragnarök. And I don't want to... To lose three creatures to Ragnarök. Yeah, don't forget to join the giveaway for Savage Strike in Shadow. We are already at 611 followers. And we just need 615 for that goal. Lightning Strike. I guess we don't need that Lightning Strike for anything else. Maybe just... Is other Neferu? Let's play Sanctum Guardian and Buffin. I think that's enough for now. Ugh, decent. Yeah, Frost Queen's the only one. You are right. We could need our relic removal also soon. He's playing a Necroceptor single. Reach into the black. And there's the priestess. Uh oh. He's taking out our Sanctum Guardian. That's a bit sad. Awaken. Okay. Let's buff our Penticillian Warrior. Then we run over his Priestess. And we are going to banish his Priestess now. Okay. So... The sad thing is, we cannot take out his Raving Necromancer now. I think the most solid pick here is the Rune of Life. Now we can do probably a lot, a whole lot of damage. Uh oh, dangerous ritual and untold greed. Oh, God. But he can also trade a lot still. Commands us for sure swinging in us in our face. Yeah. Whoa, it's a matcha! It's you again! 
Thank you for the raid. Thank you so much. Psycho, welcome back. Tamacha, thank you for the raid. We are getting bumped by a Nubian aggro whatever deck. And I'm not sure how to take on that, I guess. We could play Murtos Daughter. We need My to heal is. somehow, I don't know. It's all too much. Alpine Tass, welcome back, welcome back. I'm not sure about the Druid of Decline, but I guess we need to play it to get rid of his Raving Necromancer. Then we cannot get his second Priestess, but if he's bringing him back from Grave, we could already die. Money to the Maker! Hi! Nice to see you all! And thanks to Tsamacha again for the raid. Thank you so much. GG. Ah, we are dead. That was a cool game, though. Our uh, beginning was way too slow. We had no, no good uh, starting hand. We were starting with a 4 and 5 mana cut pretty early on. And yeah, against Anubians, that's just a problem, especially for Amazons if you cannot go off really fast. You have no opportunity to heal that much up, you can compensate a little with your god power. And we tried with the Rune of Life, but yeah, that wasn't enough. So now we are going second against Agro War, I guess. Yeah, Underbrush Boar is awesome, Nightly Boria 2. Bug Swan Protector, maybe not that much because he can be killed easily by Woodcutter Imp. Oh, but this looks good. We keep it. Good luck. Ah, it's so awesome to see you all in the chat. Make sure you also join the giveaway for the Shadow Savage Strike. So... I guess we just play our two one drops here. The underbrush boar is not optimal. Beat! Hi! Nice to see you! Yeah, I never stopped playing GU. I still play every day. Yeah, join the giveaway. Nice. Oh, he could even beat her up, okay. Didn't expect that. My turn. Hmm. I guess we have no choice. Ah, I see, I see. Cool. I have no clue how long exactly, I guess I will do my 10 P2E games and then I, I'm going to do like maybe around 5 or 10 matches in Chaos. I'm not quite sure, it depends a little bit when my girlfriend comes back from work. Hey Cock Jackson, thank you! Good luck to you too! Oh by the way... 
Vegan drank the starting today, right? Holy shit, I totally forgot about that. Mm, this is not good. It's now depending on luck if he can take out that guy or not. Uh, I don't like it. And he's having way more cards than we have. But we cannot lie we cannot leave the cunning challenger on the board. No, I have never played Amazons in Chaos yet, but I'm considering it with Amazon Heart Eater. Yeah, Cork Jackson for sure. Another cunning challenger. God damn it. Yeah, I'm I'm also pretty curious. Ah, uh, 4 p.m. I see, I see. Cork Jackson for sure. I can help, no problem. We can find a way. It's not that easy when you are doing it for the first time, but when you get used to it, it's going to be alright. Psycho, maybe we can play another day. I'm not quite sure if I'm streaming tomorrow more early or later. Depends a little. Oh god, another round. Ouch. Oh, I see ourselves die here. Yeah, yeah, me too. I just learned it because I was forced to. When I was beginning to stream, maybe I was four or five weeks into streaming. Um, some guy, I think it was M7 even, was donating cards and asking me to give them away. And yeah, we, we were just in the stream and figured out on the go in 20 minutes or so how to do the giveaways. Draw something good. Oh, Phaeton Blade, not that bad. Yeah, and I think in Chaos, Amazon can be pretty cool with the Heart Eater because the Heart Eater can is like a second, um, a second Blade of Fight Plane nearly. Cork Jackson, have a great day. Good luck to you too later on. And don't push yourself too hard. Have a great day. So, what are we going to do here? I guess... Hmm. I'm not that sure. Primal Guidance, do your thing. Yes! That was the right one. Awesome!
Ah, he's getting a shield maiden. Damn it. We need something strong now. Noto's daughter. Or another blade of fight thing. This is not the way. Yeah. All right. One top deck after another. Friends will make a fine Just a pity we couldn't play the Canopy Sniper yet. Ah, Blade of Sticks. That's hurting. I think we are done. Or maybe not? Swordbreaker Sage. Nice. Smith. Mm -hmm. Now I wish we could get the Athenian archer. I guess we cannot top deck out of that one. My turn. GG. But I, uh, I guess it was to expect <laughs> to have a bad day today after that awesome day yesterday when I take a look at the score. That was just insane. Getting 18 gods. So insane, I cannot believe it. So, who's going to be our... So we need an underbrush boar. Or primal guidance. I'm not quite sure about the sand. Mm. 
We need the one drop. The calm the storm. And we don't get it. Ah, oh, look. This is really not good. No, it's really the my internet is made of bamboo and that's why Ah oh, this is really not good. I can just play the Penticillian Warrior and hope he ignores it. Ah but he's not Damn it. <laughs> yeah, really, really bad. Now I can also just hope I could play Canopy Sniper and Primal Guidance to hope the Woodcutter Imp gets it. Or we play Selena's Mark and hope she gets it. Uh, or we play River Jumper Captain. I guess River Jumper Captain is here most solid. Because he's not that easy to beat up. But still, we are in a pretty bad situation here. But we can be glad that he has the Blade of Sticks while we have the Swordbreaker Sage. That's at least something. I think he's going to keep his sword now. I'm speculating on that. Ah, oh, he's not. Oh, but we still have a relic to remove here. Hopefully next turn we can rock a little with Canopy Sniper. We will see. Oh no, right for God. He's for sure trading that one off. Yes! Right. And I think we have to trade here because he is playing incoming raid. Not another round. Ah, damn it. Can still kill my. Creature. Oh god. Awaken. Looks like we get our ascended to by Agro War again. Damn it. He's already getting his second card with favor. And we didn't even get one yet. Answer the call.
god damn it. Yeah. We are done. Oh god. It's really like the opposite of, of yesterday. It's like... Thursday is repeating. No, not Thursday. Wednesday is repeating. Wednesday. But... At least it's not weak and ranked yet. <laughs> Die hard. 50 50 is right. Overall, I guess yes. Slivka, welcome back. Nice to see you. All right. Best of luck. Good luck. This looks pretty zombie esque with soul burn. The calm before the storm. Voracious fiend. Let's take over the board. Ah, wicked fee. Damn it. I wasn't thinking about her. Oh no, Cursed Obelisk. When that guy comes, when he's in control of the board, we have... we are in trouble. Oh, and it's even hitting that guy. Ah, oh, shit. I just thought we maybe have a chance to take out this obelisk, but now that he had that blight bomb, we really don't. And skeletal hop light, oh yeah. Oh no, I thought this guy gets buffed too. Ah oh yeah, they were at the same strength, so it's random. I should have waited. Oh, and the Necro Scepter. That's the last nail in our coffin, I guess. We are running out of resources. Maybe Blade of Fight plane top deck to take out that obelisk could be a help. When he cannot get rid of it without letting us draw a second card, but otherwise we cannot come back from that, I think. Yeah, I think even with Motor's Daughter we cannot come back here.
Oh, I'm the Rhino. GG. Holy crap. What a day. That babe, ninety nine. Uh oh, I hope that is not control nature. Oh, wild agro nature. That's okay. Good luck. Best of but luck. even wild agro nature can beat up us. Or beat us up pretty harsh. Yeah. When they are starting like this, especially. Ah. Oh. Hey, flame blades, this is strong. Ah, she gets confused. I see. Because of the fate plan blade, I wasn't thinking about that. Oh, canopy barrage. Shit. Oh, he's getting the failed tracker. I think this could be a mistake. Because when we hit Lucky there with our Selena's mark, it's going to hurt a lot. Yeah. Oh, wildfire. Ouch. We were lucky that he wasn't hitting our creature. He's confused though, so he's like a little bit like a loose cannon, he could hit everything.
think the best would be if he just hits our face. Ah, uh, okay. Riled root stuff got blitz, so he can kill all our creatures. Ouch. Not his daughter. So let's play Shield Maiden and Canopy Sniper and hope that the Canopy Sniper is going to survive so we can buff him next turn with Murtus Daughter. Yeah, Canopy Sniper is going to survive. But all these Blade Flies are a problem too. Hopefully he's not top decking lightning strike or something like that. Ah, he's getting the rune of fire though. Damn. Spawn of Colorin. This one is also pretty strong. I'm wondering a little bit though that this is a structure and not a uh, wild. Oh yeah. Uh, but we cannot even beat that thing. Ah, uh, but we have no choice. Oh, uh, we could beat it, but then our two creatures are going to die too. It's just not a good option. A forest divided is destined to fall. Another blade fly. Mm. Firewine! Wow, haven't seen that card for ages. That's quite cool. Ah, I was lucky that this guy is surviving though, but Selena's mark is finishing him anyway. I should have finished Athenian Archer though, instead of the Blade Fly. So he couldn't just kill him with Selena's Mark. He had to trade with his ex woman.
Oh yeah, that's what we need. But still, it will make no difference, I guess. Firewine, GG. Oh god, what a day again. Huh? Why did he did it like that? Ah, oh, okay, he can still finish us. Strange. Nevertheless. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for sure he had a lot of luck. And, yeah. We were starting pretty bad. When, um, nature, wild nature is coming with this broccoli and another creature right in the beginning going first, we have problems to take over the board. Because our primal guidance and our underbrush boar, even if we have it, they cannot kill the broccoli right in the beginning, where usually nearly every other creature is going to die. But broccoli is just so sticky and even healing itself. That is really a big problem. And then also his confused uh, wild talk has good stats. Hmm. Now I can just hope he's not starting off with the woodcutter. Oh, but even if he is, we can take on it. Maybe. Girl might warden. My turn. Good that we have started like that. That was kinda lucky. Hmm. Oh. I didn't expect him to give up that early, but yeah, we got a white board and I think it's also hard for him to come back. 50 flux? Hmm. So we broke free from our loose streak. Now it can just get better.
so two more games to go in ranked then i'm going to make a short break to get a new cup of coffee and then we are playing some more chaos guys do you know do we get now um flux when and an um, experience when we play chaos or is that still uh, an issue yeah psycho chaos <laughs> Oh, now we are already playing against Diamond Guy. Ah, okay. But we will still play Chaos. Wow, three one drops. Let's go. The calm before the storm. Good murderous mortal. And um, did they confirm that this is um, that this is normal that you get no rewards, or is that a bug that they are working on? My shiny Amazons seem to be pretty intimidating when I drop two diamonds in the first turn, so the people uh, give up. Ah, okay. I really hope they are doing some rewards. Oh, nice, Trolland. Thank you for the raid. Thank you so much. And welcome, raiders. Make sure you join the giveaway for Savage Strike. In shadow quality. You just have to type hashtag giveaway in the chat. And as soon as we reach 615 followers, I'm going to give it away. Thank you, thank you so much. Did you have a great stream too, Trollland? How was your stream? Um, I think when you joined yesterday, you should be in the giveaway still, yeah. I'm quickly going to take a look at my Moobot and I will see. Giveaways. Mm -hmm. Manage, I guess. Ah, I cannot see who's exactly in the giveaway somehow. I guess. Strange. But I think you should be in there. Big dog trade on Hive. Welcome. Nice to see you. And yeah, guys, make sure you join the ranks of the followers. I would really appreciate that. And it will um, fuel the giveaway. Oh, tracking bolt, okay. I think with magic we are going to have problems. Especially when they start with the Pyramide Warden. Oh, and Lightning Talisman. Oh, holy crap.
The Lightning Talisman is the worst after Eva the Baroness. This is really fucking me up. Oh, and he's playing an avatar of magic um, control deck version thing. Noxious Arachne. Okay. So. I guess we finished Nitos or not. It was so confused. Poor one. And we have to use our blade. We could need top deck um, Swordbreaker Sage for sure. Ah, no swap break as sage. Mr. Nazca, what are you thinking about? I guess next turn we are just going to hit his face once to pop the protection and hit him once again. So our Sanctum Guardian is surviving, getting just one load of that lightning talisman and then we heal. Oh! Martyr of Fight Plane. Hmm. Let's take a look what we draw. And Rune of Strength. Wow. Ha 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 ha. Okay, then. Murder's Daughter, I guess. Please don't have removal stuff, but I guess he's having. Portal Wrangler. Uh oh, Portal Wrangler is giving him back his Martyr. So the Portal Wrangler is going to loop the Martyr. Or maybe not. You are going to kill that portal brain line. Then we use our primal guidance. And then we get the rune of life. To heal our big guy. We play underbrush boar. We all have we hit his face. Sanctum Guardian. And we will see. Portal Wrangler again, okay. And he's playing our Sanctum Guardian. Hmm. What should I think about that? At 
first let's take a look where the underbrush boar is sitting. Okay. That means we are going to kill that one. It would have been nice though if we could hit the face with all so we can get the ambitious adventurer but yeah underbrush boar was just too confused. Ah, I'm own. Damn it, I guess it's game over. Our Sanctum Guardian is slowly to burn. He healed quite a lot. Yeah. He can still try. Let's take a look what we can get here. If he has an unbound flame, we are fucked pretty bad. Yeah, we are fucked pretty badly anyway, I guess. It's really GG, he was right. Oof. Okay, guys, that was a pretty bad run today. But I'm still kinda happy. And it's, for me, it's okay because we had yesterday such a great run. That's okay, and yeah, even it's nearly 1k of fragments, even though it is just three wins. Our shininess of our deck is helping a little, so maybe we get even even seven gods around with three wins. Yeah, 1k is a lot for three games, I think. Yeah, but we are also playing 18 um, diamond cards. So, it is really helping a lot. So then, I'm going to switch to chaos mode. But before we begin, I need another coffee. And then I'll be right back. I hope you stick with me, guys. I'll be right back.
All right, so here we go again with chaos. And I'm going to play some armor war. Uh, it's I guess it's war. Mainly war with a little nature thrown in. So if any one of you wants to play some Chaos, you can always join the queue when you see me ending a game. I'd be happy to play with you. Longi. Longi is playing Deception. Or at least Ludia, the deception goddess. Okay. Guild Enforcer is too big for the beginning. I guess Radiant Dawn is better when we have a white board. As Heart of Bronze is too. Get ready. Oh, at first we just focus on getting a lot of creatures on the board. Mate mark. So we should try to get as many cards out there as possible. He probably plays a deck that wants us to overdraw. Yeah, like with Sulfuric Rain. I see. Wow, burn four. That's a lot. Heart of Bronze, Aspect of Pangolin. So, when we play Aspect of Pangolin on the Skeletal Hoplite... Ah, it's random. It's random. We could prevent him from burning. But yeah, fuck it, let's try it. Ah, it's the other guy, okay. I think this is a good time for Chaining of the Gods. An insanely strong armor lurker. Sendra, okay. Not bad. Equivalent exchange. Equivalent exchange. Obliterate two cards in your hand, pick one, unlock two mana locks, or draw two cards. He's drawing two cards. Okay. Hmm. Mate mark again. At last. we start to overdraw. Oh, a toast to peace. Damn. Damn. My hand is full. <laughs> Let them squat. Finally a challenge. Oh no. Oh, 
Psycho! Yeah! Sulfuric rain. God. He really plays a mill deck. I can't believe it. And it's working. Yeah, I like the armor deck too, but I think we have a bad matchup against this one. At the beginning yesterday, a lot of people were playing aggro, and this armor is a good counter to aggro, I guess. And it's a whole lot of fun to play. Okay, let's see. They are all sleeping, but we have a Radiant Dawn. And let's throw an aspect of the Pangolin in too. Maybe we still have a chance to win. Oh, did I miss Lethal? With Radiant Dawn? <laughs> I guess I missed Lethal. Yeah, that armor is pretty fun. And I guess there are not so many expensive cards in there. Maybe Canonize is a little bit expensive. But the rest should be cheap. Oh, he's playing Jason! Cool! Nice! Kinda nice is especially when you play a lot of light, it's a great, um, great card. Yeah, I think so too, that he's going to lose. He could send anyone to sleep. Ah, toast to peace. Yeah. Toast to peace is good though. So we can still lose. I should have grabbed one of these, shouldn't I? Let's see how they um, what exactly do you think you're doing? Ah, nice to see Jason again. It's cool when you toast Jason, I like it. I didn't expect to win, especially in the beginning, when he started to mill our cards. GG. Radiant Dawn rescued us. I guess it was lucky that we um, wasn't milling Radiant Dawn early on. Okay. 
And I think when a lot of people play controlish decks with sleep, Radiant Dawn is a must-have in in Chaos. Oh, Miasmic Forge is interesting. Let's keep it. A 4C Casino deck. Ah, cool. Best of luck. I have also read about 20-sided maze. That should be a cool option. Oh, he's playing aggro. Hmm. I'm not quite sure. Let's start with Exalted Hermit. Because I think when he's playing that aggressive, we cannot take the two damage from the Miasmic Forge. <laughs> I think with Forcey, you should call it. Rigged Casino. Dangerous Ritual. We are already down to 18. Wow. And another shadow. Lambasting one, he's getting two. Last. I'm glad we have that frontline guy. But still, these shadows are killing us slowly. And I guess now he can just tap his god power. Every turn, use the lambasting wand and it's getting pretty close. Oh, and he can even get rid of that one, okay. So I guess chaining of the, of the gods is not helpful here. Yeah, he can kill us now. I guess. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Or maybe barely not. He can. He can. GG. Yeah, exactly. Then swing with the lambasting wand in my face. Oh, Brimstone, okay. Got power. GG. Ah, the same guy again, huh? Isn't it? 
Okay, we, now we have the venerable paladin in the beginning and Cutmos. These two could be good. Let's keep it. Even though our curve is not that great. With two, three, four, we have no one drop. Other the question is, do we play that one on our second turn? I guess yes. Ah, damn it. It's that time again. Ah, we have no much not much of a choice. It's a waste of that paladin. Pyramid Warden. Hmm. I wish I could already use Canonize. All the options seem kinda bad, but I guess Katmos is the only, the only one. Even though he can kill him. Skites of Harvest, holy crap. Maybe we still have a chance to turn it around. Maybe we should include a 6 mana card just to have a chosen one. Smash my Cutmos with your Skites of Harvest. Yeah. Oh, Dark Knives. Ouch. That hurts. I think we need Guild Enforcer.
GG. Ah, oh, dangerous ritual and god power is going to finish us. That deck is really strong against us. Oh, and is it the same guy again? Are we the only ones who are playing Chaos right now? Yeah. Holy crap. I don't even know. But I guess it's better to play an armor lurker than playing nothing and hope for a two drop. And otherwise we are going to tap all the power, it's also okay. Assassin's aim. Mmm, not bad. Surprise delivery. Holy crap. Let's go Guild Enforcer. Maybe we can even win this one. We could prevent the barrels from burning with our Radiant Dawn. We have some creatures we can buff a little. Ah, we cannot prevent them from burn, okay. Ragnarok is making it hard. So we are going to die next turn. Damn it! Wow. If he hadn't a Ragnarok here... We might have a small chance. So maybe let's switch the deck. Hmm. 
maybe we try something new. I want to try spell damage deck. Hmm. How is it called? Spell boost. Spell boost, isn't it spell boost? Spell boost, ah, boost like that. Academy apprentice. Hmm. Vicious rent. Ancient texts, maybe. Brimstone. Form of power. Necronomics. Dangerous ritual. Heads or tails. Oh, well, busting ones may be uh, too slow. Vow of Champions. Maybe Woodcutter him, but I'm not sure yet. Form of Unity. Deal one damage to a character for each of your creatures on the board. If you control five or more creatures, deal nine damage instead. I don't know about that one. Maybe, but we could throw it out to... Palace Champion of Magic might be too slow. No, oh, surprise delivery could be nice. Vow of learning. No, oh, vow of learning, I guess not. Be beam is nice though. Flame of the second shattering, I don't know. Maybe. Hmm. Worm breath. And fair acknowledge, I guess. How is it spelled? Oh. Let's try something crazy like that. Oh wait, we, we have chosen the wrong god, we should take war for sure, don't we? Can I change the god somehow?
I guess not. Okay, let's try it like that. I'm wondering if this is going to work. So, no one in queue here, huh? Finally! Here we go! I think Brimstone is good because we draw. Surprise delivery is nice to... To flood his board. So he cannot have too many creatures. At last, a worthy adversary. Don't disappoint me. Maybe the form of unity is not good in that one. He knows he's dangerous, that's why he's killing him already in the beginning. Okay, then... I think surprise delivery is going to be good. It would appear I'm out of options. Another encumbered looter, okay. Possibilities are endless. Interesting.
Next turn, the form of unity is going to do a whole lot of damage. And we drop these two first. Wolf Cult Vanguard, okay. This looks promising. Hmm. Ricky, good soul! Thank you for the raid! Nice! That's awesome! Gifts are special cool? Gifts? What kind of gifts do you mean? Ricky, good soul! Thank you so much! Guys, make sure you take a look at Ricky Goodsoul's channel. He's a cool guy. He could for sure need some follows. Ah, emote gifts. I see, I see, yeah. Alright. Welcome, Raiders. Nice to see you. Make sure you join the giveaway for Savage Strike in Shadow. Ah, oh, he's getting a Wall of Champions too. But for healing. Damn it. We are running out of fuel. Ah, surprise delivery is nice, though. So, we could do... 9 damage pretty soon. A toast to peace. That was good. But he should have hit our face before the toast, I guess. It is going to be a close match. Oh no! Rune Moth! Could give him a rune of life. Come on, we need to top deck some damage. And it's pretty likely that we do. The possibilities are endless. No, we don't. Okay. Let's draw. Beam. Oh, it's just the Rune of Fire. Okay. Oh, that's close. Yeah. GG. I think we can make that stack even more efficient. Way more efficient. Mm, how do we delete it? Like that. Okay. Let's try this as a war deck. So, Rimstone.
Maybe Necronomics is not that good. Vicious Rent for sure. Heads or tails to the vow of champions, maybe even woodcutter in, but I'm not sure about that one. Form of unity is also, I'm also mixed about that one. Price delivery did a good job. Beam is also nice. Maybe Flame of the Second Shattering is more consistent than Form of Unity in this deck. Worm breath for sure. Maybe we take even unbound flames. Six. It's too late, I guess. Ah, we forgot a card, I guess. Huh? From death. Mm. It was two mana card. Um... Let's take a look here. Rarity quality type. We are looking for a spell. Ancient texts is good. Form of power might be good too. Ragnarök. Dangerous ritual, that what was what I'm was looking for. And I guess the rest we fill up with spell boost. Street Conjurer and Academy Apprentice. Let's try that again.
Japan Marauder. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I own that one. And he's insane. In that format. Especially also with 20-sided mace is also a good option. Yeah, I have to try that one sooner or later too. Maybe tomorrow. I'm just playing now one more game with that with that spell damage deck and then I'm I'm going to end the stream for today. And I guess we are going to raid Q Flux today. Yeah, take them all on, I guess. Yeah, that card is pretty nice. I saw that yesterday. Uh, someone played that against me and then was throwing a whole lot of uh, zero-cost creatures in my face. So, why is the queue taking so long? Nobody wants to play with me with that deck, I guess. Let's take a look at the Star Store in the meantime. Apeps Doomcaller, okay. Poison Dagger, nothing special. Mm, and tomorrow? Ah, oh, tomorrow is we get 11 gods, that's alright. Seven, seven, five, eight, six. Okay, okay. So, come on. Where are the Chaos players? Where are they? Here we go. Cobra Yashi. Cobra Yashi. Alright. We take Slayer. Maybe in this matchup, Heads or Tails is not the best. When he's also playing something aggressive. Surprise delivery is going to be good. Of Brauhaus. Hmm. I think it looks like a beer from. From Hearthstone, from Barstone, or something like that. Flame of the Second Shattering, maybe a little bit too big for the beginning. Oh, Dangerous Ritual, it will be dangerous, but I try it. Ragnarok, Surprise Delivery, Dangerous Ritual, we keep it. Let's go with the Dangerous Ritual. Ancient Texts, hmm? Shadow Scryer, okay. Then flood his field with Surprise Delivery. So we have here 6 damage on board already, so he goes then down to 20 in 2 turns. Oh. 
so then yes Slayer is all right and wishes rent. didn't even attack with his Shadow Stryer though. That's strange. Enlightenment. Uh oh. I have a bad feeling about this. Bitter endings. He's really playing around bitter endings? <laughs> I don't even play that. But I think he did he doesn't know. <laughs> yeah. That's funny. Let's see how they respond. My followers bow to none. Looks like next turn. He's going to die. Ah, he throwed that Demogorgon away. So we can do three damage. Two damage. Yeah, he's going to die. And two damage. GG. It worked! But he gave us a lot of time, he was playing a combo deck, I guess, with Enlightenment and so on. GG! So guys, I got to end the stream for today. <gasps> thank you for watching, thank you for being active in the chat, thank you for joining the giveaway. Yeah, you should never listen to music like that when you are washing your dishes, because that will be the last time when you had dishes. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Thank you so much. See you tomorrow, hopefully. And have a great day. And let's raid. Bye-bye, Shilly. Bye-bye, guys. Thank you. And let's raid. Here we go. See you soon. Goodbye. Have a great day. And good luck for your weekend ranked, guys. <laughs>